Welcome back everybody to another Swift iOS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over how you can delete and or reorder your table view items. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. We want iOS single view app. Next. Next, and create. Okay, let's go to our storyboard. And let's go ahead and delete this view controller. So we'll select it, delete, delete. Next, let's go ahead and insert a new table view. And let's search for navigation controller. Click and drag and pull that into your storyboard. Now, let's select this navigation controller and let's go to Attributes Inspector and click Is Initial View Controller. Next, let's select the prototype cell and let's give the prototype identifier a name. Now, let's go ahead and delete the view controller file. Move to trash. Then go to file, new, file. We want Cocoa Touch class. Next, the class that we want is table view controller, subclass of UI table view controller. And of course, language is Swift. Next, and create. Let's go ahead and move that file down here. Let's go back to our storyboard. Then select root view controller and go to custom class and select table view controller. Let's go back to our table view controller file. Okay, notice in this code, you have a lot of the methods that you would need for your table view. However, in this example, we're gonna go ahead and put those methods in ourselves. So let's delete that code. We're gonna go ahead and leave the view did load. Now, let's put in our two required table view methods. These two methods are using a data array, here and here. So let's go ahead and create that data array. Let's go ahead and run our code and see if it's working so far. You can see in our simulator here, we have the items from our array populated into the table view. So everything looks like it's working so far. The next thing we want to do is add some more things to our storyboard. Let's go ahead and search for a UI text field. Let's drag that right here. Then let's open up our document outline. Click the drop down for your navigation item. Let's select our text field. Go to your attributes inspector. And let's put in some placeholder text right here. Then we want to go ahead and put a button right about here that will allow us to take the text from this text box and put it into our table view. So we would type out some text, click the add button, and it would populate the table view. For that, let's search for a UI bar button item. And let's just title that add. Next, let's add an outlet for our text box. So let's select it, control, drag over. The type will be UI text field. Connect. Next, let's add an IB action function to connect our add button. Make sure the connection is action. 
give your function a name, and the type will be UI bar button item. Connect. And since we want our table view to be populated with the items that we enter into this text box, instead of what is currently in this array, we want to go ahead and delete these items. So this is now an empty array. Okay, we need another outlet, so let's go ahead and add that now. Go ahead and select your table view, control drag. And this is going to be a UI table view outlet. Connect. And we're going to use this table view outlet to help us reload or refresh our table view once we have added items. Let's go ahead and put in our code for our add item button function here. So if our text field outlet has text, we want to go ahead and append that text to our data array. And inside the append, we'll use our text view outlet text. And we'll use an exclamation to go ahead and unwrap that. Next, as we just mentioned, we want to use our table view outlet and reload that data so it will update the table view with the text that we entered into the text box. After we have put in our text and updated the table view, we want our text field to clear itself so we can enter in more text as needed. So to do that, let's use our text field outlet text and set that to an empty string. Let's go ahead and test this and see what we get so far. Let's create a little grocery list. So we typed in apples and let's hit add. And you can see apples has been added. Let's put in pizza and salad. Okay, so far this looks good. The next thing we want to be able to do is edit these items. So we want to be able to move them around and delete them. Now let's put in our methods that will help us to edit our table view. The first one we're going to use is called commit editing style. If the editing style is delete, we want to remove it from our array, thus removing it from the table view. So we will use our data array dot remove at the index path dot row. Then we're going to use table view dot delete rows at the index path with a fade. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and add our item. Now, if we click on this and drag over, we get delete. And you can see our item has been deleted. Another thing that we can do when we created our table view file in the view did load, if you uncomment this line of code here, it will give you some additional editing options. However, instead of the right bar button item, we want this to appear on the left. So now we can drag over to delete like that, or we can click edit which gives us another type of delete option. Okay, so this gives us an option to delete our table view items. However, what if we just want to rearrange them and change their order? One way we can do that is to use the move row at method.
let's create a variable item to move. Let's use our data array. Then let's use our square brackets syntax. And inside the square brackets, we want to access the source index path for the row. Next, we'll access our data array again. We're going to use remove at our source index path row. Then to complete the move, we'll use our data array insert. The new element will be the item to move that we created right here at the destination index path row. Okay, so basically we are identifying a row we want to move, then we are removing it, and then we are inserting it at the new location. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and click edit and let's move apples to the bottom. And you can see our move was successful. Now let's move salad to the top. Okay, that looks good. Finally, let's put in a bar button item that will allow us to sort our table view items alphabetically. Let's go up to edit, access our symbols, and let's put in an arrow. So our button says A to Z. Let's go ahead and select our button and hook it up to our code. The connection will be action, and we'll just title this alphabetical. Connect. To go ahead and sort our table view items, let's use our data array dot sort. Next, let's use our table view outlet and reload the data. Let's test it. Let's type in some items. Now, when we press our A to Z button, it should sort these table view items alphabetically. And you can see the sort was successful. That's all we have for this iOS table view tutorial. Join us again next time.